Hi, I'm Black Bright, and thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for passing by. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Today's video is a bit different. It's not about news. Sometimes I do talk about my personal experiences on this channel. And I thought this one was so fantastic, is the only word I can think of, that I had to speak about it. Now, I normally work um, Monday to Thursday. When I say I normally work, that's my nine to five job. And then Fridays and Saturdays, I go into my shop. Well, yesterday I had the day off and I also had Wednesday off. And I was going to use that to just kind of do things around the house. Anyway, I was speaking to somebody on Wednesday night and they said, you know, I think you should go into the shop. Well, I said, I'm thinking about going to the shop. And he said, um, I think you should go to the shop. And he said it about three times. And I thought, hmm. Anyway, I woke up yesterday morning and I was kind of in two minds. Should I go or should I not? And I said, you know what? I'm going to go in. So I got dressed like I normally do. Have your shower and do your makeup and all that kind of stuff. And off I went. Sauntered into the post office. Um, sauntered into Lidl's to get my apple turnover. And then I, just as I'm going into the entrance of the market, somebody said, here she is. And I'm like, oh, hi. I didn't really remember the lady's name. So she said, I've got D on the phone and she's just talking about you and your shop. And I said, really? I said, I don't even come in on a Thursday. She goes, I know. And then there was D on the telephone. You know, she showed her, she showed me her picture and she was there talking to me. And I'm like, how weird. And I had a funny feeling. Now, D is somebody who brings everybody in Luton together. She's a bit like our Bob Baker. She's a community person. She has a hub in the indoor market and she kind of um, promotes artists and um, writers and poets, and she does everything in that hub. Anyway, I said, I better go now because I need to open up the shop. As I'm going to the shop, I open up the door and I go inside, just about to turn on the light and turn on the urn, and I see uh, a, a black man outside and he's looking up at the sign. And then he's kind of hovering outside and I said, come on in. And he looked like a Black Father Christmas. And I said to him, um, hi, can I help you? And he said, you know, nothing that anyone thinks of hasn't been done before. And I said, oh, what do you mean? He said, you know, I was talking to my son and we were talking about, you know, he says, I, um, I make her, I make bitters and I make um, cleanse, and I, I'm a herbologist, and I make all of this stuff. And he says, all we were talking about is that we would need a herbal kitchen in, in our establishment. And he said, we want it to go in all the different parts of the region, like Manchester, Birmingham, London, and all of that. And he said, here you are. I said, well, he said, what a coincidence. I said, it's not a coincidence. I said, it's synchronicity. So he just laughed and he says, you know something? He says, I got up at 5.30 this morning and he said, something kept on saying to me, go to Luton. I said, so where are you from? And he says, I live in Croydon. I said, oh. So he said, yes, I just got this urge to come to Luton. And he said, I got on three trains to get here. And he said, I don't even know why I was guided to Luton. And then he said, I saw your shop. And I said, I said, that is synchronicity. Now, he said, what a coincidence. And I said, no, it's synchronicity. I said, you were meant to come to this shop today for whatever reason. Now, that was 11 o'clock in the morning. So he comes in and he's telling me about um, all of the experiences he's had um, with medicine and herbal medicine and how he's seen the benefits of it on other people. 
So he said he didn't even have any faith in it. He thought it was a fluke. And he said, you know, I just didn't realise until about the fourth or fifth time that it suddenly dawned on me. So I said to him, you know, so when you, so when that um, lady said that the boy had an abscess that was so big and you gave him your medicine and it healed within three days, didn't that tell you something? And he said, no, I thought it was the bottle. So I said, so when you, your face went all, he had this um, um, blood disease called sar sarcoidosis or something, where they say there's no known cure and no known um, remedy for it. So when it healed your face, didn't you think that the medicine you was taking was a contributory factor? And he said, no, I thought it was a coincidence. So I said, so when you took that when you gave it to this lady who had um, she had some kind of sexual um, problem and she told you that it healed her, didn't you think that your product um, had some benefit? No, he said, I didn't think so. He said, I just thought it was a coincidence. So I said, so when did you realise that it wasn't a coincidence? He said, when it happened the fourth time, when somebody, I forget what that person, he said that person, I forget what he said the, the fourth person did. And he said, then he thought, oh, maybe there's something in the medicine, the herbal medicine. Anyway, the long and short of it is, is that, you know, sometimes I get people coming into the shop asking me for bitters, asking me for detox. And this gentleman happened to have those products. So I took his card and he sat down and, you know, he said, I'm, he said, I'm looking for an artist um, because he needs a design for some cards or something. So I said to him, you know, I'm an artist. He said, what a coincidence. <laughs> and I said, no, it's synchronicity. But it was so funny because there were so many similarities, poetry, and um, then, if that wasn't it all, he was there until about four o'clock until I was closing up. But before he left, um, a young man came in and I knew him from um, one of the panel meetings I attend. And this young man came in and he said, you know, I'm looking for somebody who can, um, this woman's got a problem and I'm looking for somebody, anybody who might be able to help her. And I said to him, I said, well, here's the gentleman. Oh, what a coincidence. No, it's not a coincidence. You came here today at this particular time, bearing in mind that that person a minute before or a minute later or if if it had been an ordinary Thursday, I wouldn't have even been in the shop. So it's all timing. And when that young man came into the shop, that man could have gone, but he wasn't. He was still there. And he was able to exchange details. And then he sat down and the young man sat down. I said, well, two of you, instead of standing up, sit down and, you know, talk. And then the young man said, you know, um, he said, what do you do? And he says, oh, I'm a student at uni. I'm a playwright and I'm a filmmaker. And I'm making this film about the Maroons. The Maroons? <laughs> this man only happens to be a Maroon. <laughs> and he gave the guy a whole history. The guy said, this is priceless. He said, I could never get what you have given me in, in the libraries, on Google, anything. And all I'm saying is that there are some things that are totally out of our control. Totally out of our control. You know, you just do not know why you go to a place a certain day do a certain thing. Everything is timing. 
um, five minutes before, if if I hadn't been, um, if I had opened the shop five minutes, you know, 15 minutes later, I wouldn't have seen that gentleman. I wouldn't have had the value of his knowledge and his wisdom. You know, if, if um, the young gentleman, the student, if he had come in on a Friday like I normally am in, he wouldn't have met that guy. And it was, and then on top of that, his son calls in, and his son must know what his father is like. And his son says, "You know, the the father says to him, oh, I was telling her about the.' He said the son started shouting at him, not in a disrespectful way, but it was almost like he was afraid that the father was giving away trade secrets. So I spoke to the son and I said, look, I said, I've offered you and your father um, to come in one day, one Friday or Saturday, and you can have an open day for your products. I even bought a bottle. I bought a couple of bottles from him. But I said, you can do your products. And I said, it'd be absolutely fantastic. So I said, don't worry. I said, your father isn't giving away any trade secrets. And he laughed and he felt a bit more comfortable. I guess he didn't know who his father was talking to. Maybe he thought he was talking to somebody who'd want to steal um, secrets. You know, people are protective. And sometimes you have to be protective about your products. So all I'm saying is that I just needed to share that experience with you. It was just so awesome. You know, from the time I got into the shop until the time it closed. And I just want to, I think I've mentioned everything. Oh, he made fun of my flyers because, um, you know, sometimes when we do flyers, I thought, well, I'm going to put out some seasonal um, flyers, you know, for the Morby and the Sorrel and the Sarsaparilla. And at the bottom, I thought, you know, I feel as though when I'm speaking to people, sometimes I think I'm quite telepathic. And I know I have empathy. And somebody said to me that, you know, people don't want to hear about healthy stuff. The majority of people, there are a minority that wants to hear about healthy stuff. But most people just want to feel good. So I put telepathy, empathy and feel good teas on the flyer. And he said, I want a cup of empathy. And I said, what do you mean? He says, well, you've got empathy, telepathy and feel good teas. It sounds like you've got these different types of teas that are going to give you empathy and going to give you te telepathy. Anyway, all I'm saying is that, you know, sometimes when you hear um, feedback, you take it on board. Um, if you have an instinct, you follow it through. If somebody says something to you, it's usually not said by mistake. Sometimes people are guided to speak to you. And you don't even realise that that is what's happening. So keep an open mind. Be receptive. Be, uh, keep an open heart. And just follow your instincts and your guidance and see where you end up. You just never know. Um, I think that is all I am going to say. Bye-bye.